<clears throat> Hi, Mermaid Junkies! How are you? Um, what are you guys doing? Did you guys watch my last video? It was about profanity and why I think my profanity triggers people. It was a really good video, I thought. Anyway, well, I always think all my videos are good. But anyway, um, okay, so today, guess what we're going to talk about? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, first of all, I want to tell you guys that within the next month, I'm giving myself a month. I'm going to start Mermaid Junkie Radio because I'm going to start a podcast. I don't know why I'm adding the ah because I can't sing anyway. But um, oh, so that is an exciting thing. The other and and so I'm also going to have the beloved gardener on there. So that should be interesting. And now you'll see why I fell in love with his voice. It's not just me either. You want to? You guys want to hear something funny? Okay, so, um, so the gardener and I were at the house, and this was probably like a year ago or something. And I would always say, "Oh my God, I love your voice. Oh, you you know have such good voice and whatever." And um, so he he always chalks it off like, oh, "Okay, whatever," you know, like, "Oh, girls have told me that, but guys have always said, oh, my voice sounds silly, right?" And I said, no, no, it's really, really true, right? And so, um, I know I say right a lot, but anyway. So we call for pizza to have it delivered. And um, like 30 seconds later, so Jeffrey makes the order and, and he's giving the address and blah, 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 all that stuff, right? And then 30 seconds later, so he hangs up and he call, um, you know, the pizza hut calls back and it was the lady and she goes, um, he, he put it on speakerphone. And um, I don't know why that was important, but he put it on speakerphone and I was like, oh, okay. Because she says, hey, um, Mr. Stafford, could you repeat that address again? I'm not sure that I got it correctly. And so he said, oh, oh, of course. And so he repeats the address and then, <laughs> and then the lady goes, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I have to be honest with you. It, I had already had the address. I just needed to call back to hear your voice again because it was very sexy. And I thought it was so funny because I was like, I told you. Anyway, so yeah, that that was a funny, funny little thing that, um, ha that happened one day. So let's see. So that was an exciting, some exciting news and some more exciting news as there's this little, um, this little teeny beautiful little home decor shop. And I guess it's like a gift store too in my hometown and they are going to start selling my stuff there. And so that's another exciting little thing that I'm so happy about. But the one thing, and so, okay, so that is leading into the reason that I wanted to talk to you guys today, which was about how many times that, like, I'll go off on little tangents on my social media, right? About different things that, like, if I hear something or I'm having a conversation with someone or I'm, you know, thinking about my next content for my YouTube video, you know, or whatever the situation is. Maybe I've read something online because I'm always doing research and analytics and all kinds of like, like behind the scenes research, right? And I can't tell you how many times that I see that people are out buying shit to try and make themselves feel better and to be happy. And the reason that I say this so strongly, and you might be like, well, Raquel, I knew you back in 2004, and you were really like that yourself. So what are you talking about? Well, that's exactly the reason that I'm saying it, because I was the dumbass doing it too. So if I can help inspire someone to go, oh, maybe I don't really need that 17 um, Louis Vuitton bag or juicy couture dumb stuff, you know, outfit or whatever. I mean, and you might say, oh, well, I only shop, you know, but people do this in all different avenues. Like it's spread completely across the board when it comes to either buying things um, or over, over 
are indulging, it can, it can be more than just buying things. I even compensated back in the day when I would do this by saying, well, it's not the same that I'm buying a lot of shit because it's the goodwill. So I'm really not doing as much damage or whatever as someone say that was going to, you know, um, Marshalls or Target and spending hundreds of dollars on shit, right? So I would overcompensate by saying, the, like, not overcompensate, but I would justify my actions when someone would say this to me, right? And and so now that is the reason that I'm very, very focused on trying to inspire you guys, inspire other people around me to recognize why the hell are you buying shit? Because let me just tell you something. It's not going to make you feel better. What you're trying to do is fill the gap of an internal need that you need to fulfill through self-worth and self-love and acceptance. And you're not doing that so you go out and buy dumb shit because you think, oh, it's gonna fucking make me feel better. Yeah, it's gonna make you feel better until the high is gone. It doesn't work for a long amount of time. Have you ever noticed that? You Then you need another thing to buy because that, that'll do it for, you know, uh, you know, a certain amount of time, but then you need something else because you need to keep doing that because it doesn't work. It's superficial. It's um, artificial. It's a facade that you think you're, you're, um, well, no, Raquel, there's not anything wrong with buying stuff. <laughs> I know I always do that. Look, my hair is so soft. I can't help but want to touch it all day because I blow dried it straight. Anyway, um, no, the reason that you're buying stuff and the reason that you're overindulging in things like drinking, drugs. Listen, I don't I don't freaking care if you want to do these things. There's nothing wrong with it. I'll enjoy a good glass of wine, but I'm not going to fucking drink the whole bottle in one day and then do it again and again and again and again. Like there's nothing wrong with being in a happy state of mind, like loving yourself immensely and then indulging in a nice glass of wine with dinner or um, going to purchase something that you have really wanted that was on your phone, you know, on your inspiration or your um, vision board. There's nothing wrong with that. But here's the distinction between the two. Once you are internally happy and love yourself and you have self-worth, those things will come into your life and they will come quicker than when you're actually trying to push super hard to want those things. Like, as soon as I get $5,000, I'm going to get, you know, this or this or whatever, right? Um, or as soon as I get this amount of money, then I'm going to, you know, do this or whatever. What I'm saying is, once you are internally fulfilled, those things will come to you. Those desires that you want. Because we're, we're human and we always will want... We will always, excuse me, we will always want those things in life, okay? That's normal. It's a tendency, I mean, not a tendency, but it's a human, a human, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but it's, it's normal. If you're a human being, you are going to desire in life. There's nothing you can do to get away from it. I mean, I think it's stupid as hell when people try to say, oh, well, we want to get to the point of, mm, no desires. We know we must relinquish desire. You're never going to fucking do it because guess what? You were supposed to desire. That is humanity. You're supposed to desire. And it's also law of attraction. And if you follow Abraham Hicks teachings, it's, it's normal. You're supposed to want things in life. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is the distinction between trying to fill a void that you have, that you're lacking, or you have some dumb shit of a paradigm that you're trying to do this, or or you're, you know, um, you're la lacking self-respect and self-love and self-worth within yourself. And so maybe you're a guy and you're banging every chick that, that you know, it's like a game to you. And it's like, if you've ever noticed, you're never going to get enough pussy. Sorry to, I mean, be so blunt and everything, but you're trying to fulfill a void that's lacking in you. Maybe you've got mommy issues. What I'm trying to say is, once again, get shit straight in your head and in your mind and clear the cobwebs out 
and you will be able to soar higher than you ever thought possible. And you won't need those things. Like, I want a lot of things. I desire a lot of things. Not And, and things not in, like, as much tangible as, like, I desire to have Mermaid Junkie Academy be across the entire country and it be world-renowned, you know? I desire to, you know, have a flourishing, you know, design... Um, products and and in all of the craft stores and stuff like there's a lot of things that I desire I I desire to have you know a beautiful wardrobe of Victorian clothing but that's not gonna make or break me and I'm not gonna sit there and save my money until then and you know get all that and think about that all the time like it'll come to me I'm not worried about it I'm going to get everything that I want in life and so if you're confident in that, it's all a mind game. So if you can be confident in that, confident in yourself, knowing that you desire everything that you desire, you're going to get in life. If you really truly believe in who you are, what you stand for, that you're authentically being true to yourself, that you love yourself, you will get everything in life that you desire. But the, the problem, like I said, that I see so much is that especially... 20 year olds I mean young kids like that don't have you know that came maybe from a messed up childhood or um, you know there was a lot of lack of love there maybe affection maybe you know um, motivational inspiring like maybe a parent wasn't very inspiring to you or maybe they didn't encourage you and they weren't your cheerleader so you're you're sitting there spending your entire life trying to um, do things maybe have that job that your parents would then be proud of you or you know if you can get a um, you know a degree in a certain thing that your parents would then be proud of you like you're doing a disservice to you and you're doing a disservice to your family or your loved ones or your wife or husband or your children but a lot of times it has to do with with your mom and dad like who raised you that so many young kids especially these days and even older people i see people my age you guys that are still trying to um impress their parents like oh i'm gonna work myself to death just so i can have this and if i can be rich then my parents will notice me and accept me right like that is the biggest bullshit notion you've got going if you have that anywhere directly relative in your brain so like i said try to work on you know you're gonna fucking disappoint your parents disappoint them now don't go through college or let them spend all this money on a an education for you because you're afraid to tell your parents go suck it i don't want to do that i don't want to take over the family business i don't want to fucking do that for the rest of my life no i don't want to be in the family business of taking over this or that and you hate it like why are you doing that you got to love yourself enough to tell everyone else to go F themselves. And I mean that in the sweetest, kindest, dearest way. Like, no more of this putting people before you. You are the most important person in your life. The only person that matters truly is for you to be selfish and get and take care of your own personal needs first. And that may sound completely um, opposite than what everybody else is going to tell you. But I'm here to tell you the truth and I'm here to tell you what fucking works. Okay, it doesn't fucking work you trying to live your life for somebody else. And I know firsthand because I did it for fucking 30 years of my life. I lived for someone else and it doesn't work. It backfires on your ass. You end up resenting people and you end up being very, very angry. And so I have had to spend you know, these three years, basically three years that I've been doing this YouTube. I mean, I've been doing YouTube probably close to five years. I think my first video was in 2012, maybe into the 13. Um, and I didn't know really strictly where I was going per se. But I just knew that I needed to do this because it was an outlet for me to, to begin to heal. And my healing really began to take place, um, you know, two, two and a half years ago, the end of 2015. So this year will be three years. And so I'm really very adamant about inspiring you guys and inspiring people to really live their truth and like to not wait around because it does nothing 
but hinder you. You can, you can soar so much higher if you will just love yourself and put yourself first and be selfish in life. That is what we came to earth to do, is to be selfish. Think about babies, you guys, and I've said this, this is my great analogy and metaphor that I use all the time, is that you came here to be selfish, to take care of your own needs first, and then you can outwardly help other people. But if you're sucky and you have a crappy paradigm and a worthless sense of um, self-love, then you're not going to be able to help anybody in life, much less yourself. You know what I'm saying? And so that I just want to encourage you and inspire you to, to think about yourself and to love yourself so much that what your happiness means is more important than what anyone else is going to think in life, right? And I liken that too as well. I'll give you another little metaphor, like a mermaid swimming metaphor, is that when you're learning, like I'm um, certified, like a certified diver, right? And I had to get all of that like scuba. I had to do a lot of training. And the one thing that you're taught when, and if you guys, you divers out there know, the one thing that you're taught, even if you're going off of a buddy system, when you're using the air tanks, you, you give yourself oxygen first and then you give it to your buddy. And that sounds like it's kind of like backwards, but think about it. I mean, you can use that analogy. You could use that analogy um, you know, in a lot of different ways, but my battery's going to, but anyway, like, so just remember that, you know, you're always taught to, to help yourself first and then you can help other people. Um, another analogy is this, um, you know, I'm a lifeguard, I'm a certified lifeguard. And so when you're learning to how to save people's lives, um, if they start pulling you down under the water, the first thing you're supposed to do is to go deep just to go under the water and kick those bitches off of you. Not bitches necessarily, but you know what I'm saying? Kick the person off of you. And it's to save yourself because what if that person's gonna drown you and you need to save 13 other fucking people that are in the water there that are drowning as well? You can't help the other 12 or 13 if this other idiot's on you trying to kill you. So you've got to remember, take care and protect yourself and love yourself first and then you can love other people. So I hope I brought that home and um, inspired you in some way and I hope that it served you. And I just want you to know how much I love you. Thank you so much for everyone that's sticking around, that likes my social media posts, that comments and ask questions. I love it, love it, love it. Your questions give me breath. Your comments give me breath because it always helps me to re-emphasize my own personal growth. And so I love you and thank you for that because you guys are my teachers. And anyway, so as always, I'm yours until my next swim and subscribe to my channel if you want to, to give a mermaid her fins and follow me on my other social media outlets if you would like to get inspirational moments or little um, little poems or quotes or pretty little art mermaid pictures and stuff like that. So it's all in the description below. So, all right, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.